So in this video, I just wanted to talk to you guys about what I may have done differently in my own healing journey from the information that I know now and from the experience that I have now. Hey guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at High Carb Health and also click on the green H so you get to see exactly what I eat and what I get up to every single day. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you get all our notifications for our recent uploads. Hey guys, welcome to another video. I know it's been a while since my last upload, but I just want to say to all those new people that have started following us, I hope you found something useful for my channel. I hope you found some of our videos useful in your own healing path and your own healing journey, whether it's some of the recipes that we've created, my experiences, or some of the science that we've shared with you on this channel. So all the best guys, and I hope you guys are doing well on a plant-based diet. So in this video, I just wanted to talk to you guys about what I may have done differently in my own healing journey from the information that I know now and from the experience that I have now from helping so many other people. Now, in some ways, I wouldn't change a thing because that's the way my journey had to be to get to where I am today. But maybe I could have been a little bit more flexible in some cases. And I think we're going to kind of break that down for you today. So I want to start with David Klein's book. Okay, now this is an amazing resource and I am so grateful for finding this book because it has a lot of amazing key information to healing your own body. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that this book can be quite strict. And that sometimes can be an issue for some people when they are going through the healing phase where they just don't feel like eating bananas or just potatoes, you know, or sweet potatoes, for example. So while there are some amazing things in this book, it obviously does have its flaws. And that's why we don't necessarily follow it to a T as much as we used to, because we have learnt over time that we can get away with certain things. And that's why when I look back at my diet, I could have potentially gotten away with a few things as well. And that's what I want to share with you today. So one of the aspects in my healing journey that I kind of struggled with a lot that I would have changed was being a perfectionist. I really wanted to do every single thing correctly so that I would get the results that I desired. And while that is in some way a really good thing to do, when you just are not seeing the results, you kind of beat yourself up about it. And that's where you can start to go downhill and really feel like this isn't working and all those emotions come up and all those doubts start coming up as well. And that's what happened to me. And what I would do differently would just relax. Let this journey go and, and don't focus on expecting something to happen. Okay, because when you do that, you're going to keep expecting and you're not going to like it if things don't happen in the in the time that you want it to happen. Um, so being a little bit more relaxed while going through this, uh, I would have changed. Where I was very uptight sometimes and I really didn't like what was going on with my body. And I, and I really had to just, you know, take that step back. And that's what I would have changed uh, in my healing journey. Another thing would have been a little bit, being a little bit more flexible with what I was eating. Of course, I didn't have all the appliances that we do now, like the air fryer, and I, and I didn't really expand my diet as much as I should have, um, because I just didn't know at the time. I didn't really have anyone to kind of coax me through it and be like, hey, you can do this, you can do this, um, you know, to, to give me more flavors, to give me more, I guess, variety of foods uh, that's, you know, not what's in that book. Um, and for example, you know, baking things, air frying things. 
I didn't have those options or I didn't actually think about those options when I was going through the eight years ago. So that's another thing uh, that I would change and I would have mixed it up a little bit more and, and really just given myself a little bit more patience, flexibility to how strict I was following the diet. Um, so in some ways it's, it's, it's all connected, um, but these are some of the things that I would potentially change. And uh, there's some fruits as well that I could have possibly eaten uh, during my, my healing, but I didn't go near because I was scared. Uh, I think fear is also something that can disrupt your healing journey or make it a little bit harder for you to progress because you're scared of eating certain foods. Don't, don't get me wrong, I was also very similar because when David Klein talks about you know eating this or eating that, he really says it's not good for you and, and that can kind of scare you as well. So I just want to say to, to those people that are going through this, don't feel scared of plant foods. Okay, They're all good for us. Okay, Obviously, there are certain plant foods that may irritate a little bit more because your condition might be really severe or you might have a lot of inflammation, for example. Uh, and that's where you've just got to tell yourself just you can do this for a certain period of time uh, and then slowly reintroduce it as your body gets better. So that's something that I would have probably changed and just confidence in the plant-based diet. We've got so much more information now about the gut, the gut microbiome and obviously a lot of uh, other doctors talking about this now whereas you know, eight years ago Hardly anyone was talking about gut health and fiber and plants. Uh, so you've got a lot of resources now and that can kind of back you and really give you that, that momentum and go forward where I didn't have that uh, at the time. So, yeah, do not fear. Do not fear when you, when you get onto the plant-based diet. Really be confident in your body as well and your self-healing body. Another thing that I probably didn't do as much as I probably would have liked was, you know, exercise. Um, while I was really sick and I, and I couldn't really do anything, I would have still tried to push myself to get outside, get that sunlight, get the fresh air and things like that, which I don't think I did as well as I sh should have liked. Uh, that's something that, you know, I work on with other clients and get them to, you know, really get outside and outside of the house and even though they you know still have urgency it's always good to just get out maybe go to the toilet first and then get out get some fresh air and, and some sunlight another point i'd like to make is getting inspired by other people uh, not just people that have healed you see uh, just getting more we've got so many inspirational stories now of people overcoming any sort of disease that it's so easy to go online and be like wow, like there's a success story or there's a success story. So take these success stories and, and really put them together and go, well, if that person can do it, then so can I. And I did that in a way by, you know, looking at athletes and how they've been able to transform their lives. Uh, obviously, I didn't have anyone that's, you know, they had UC um, or Kalita Crohn's, but you know, go, go on to obviously our channel and check out the testimonials and they should give you a, a good boost. Um, and socializing a little bit more as well, talking to other people about your condition might actually help you kind of take out that pressure that you put on yourself as well. And that's something that I struggled with um, and that's what I can talk about as well, pressure. Okay, pressure on getting better faster yeah so like there's no there's no race okay there's no race and it goes back obviously to the the timeline and, and expectations but don't put pressure on yourself to get somewhere just relax each day as it comes uh and i guess you know for, for me it was hard to foresee me getting better because i don't have anyone else to rely on I didn't ha I mean, obviously, I had David Klein's book, and his book has uh, testimonials in it, which I read every single day of my journey. I read the testimonials in here. That gave me a little bit more confidence as well. So please go to my channel. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll kind of see exactly what I do every single day, which should inspire you. And I'm trying to 
create uh, more of a mindful journey on Instagram so that you guys can really focus in on yourselves and take from my posts so that you can actually get better yourselves as well. So yeah, there wasn't too much that I would change, but I think you know everybody looks back and, and says, oh, I should have done this and I should have done that. But in the end, you know, we are here today because of the challenges that we faced in our past and how we have grown from those challenges uh, and how we have learned from those challenges. So like I said, in a way, I wouldn't change anything, but there are maybe a couple of things that, you know, I would have told myself, my, my past self, hey, don't do this or don't do that and, and don't stress out about too much blood coming out of your, your bowel or, you know, going so many times to the bathroom, having that urgency. Um, and yeah, just more patience. That's what I probably would have told myself, more patience. Um, and eventually, you know, I would have got here. And, you know, currently I, I'm training for a, a marathon and I'm absolutely enjoying it. Uh, it takes a lot more effort to actually train for the marathon than to do the marathon itself. Um, so it's going really, really well and I'm really excited because uh, I can't wait for you guys to take inspiration from me as well and do marathons yourselves once you get better, um, just like me. So if you have any comments uh, and any questions, please post them down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and, and make sure you click that notification bell so that you get uh, notifications of, of our uploads. And, and please check out our YouTube stories as well and our YouTube community posts, which might be helpful for you with more information because that's what our channel is about, trying to give you as much information as we can. And obviously, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll get more information on that as well. So... Thanks so much for watching. Once again, to our new followers, thank you so much for joining um, and, and following us and, and obviously take everything you can from our channel. That's what we created it for. And I uh, hope you guys are doing really well. And we will see you in the next video. Give this video a thumbs up if you know what it's like to have colitis or Crohn's disease and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. This channel was about helping people recover from colitis and Crohn's disease. If you go to our website and fill out the health survey, you are entitled to a free 30 minute console from anywhere in the world. We look forward to hearing from you. And always remember, there is a life after colitis and Crohn's.